of one. I'm Christy Casciano. Stray gunfire from I-81 is being blamed for a bullet blowing a hole in a dorm on the campus of SUNY ESF early Saturday morning. Students were notified of the shooting about 15 hours later, but the general community was not notified by the school or by police until our reporting. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan is on campus to find out how this is affecting students. Andrew? It was a scary weekend for Fayetteville Manlius graduate turned ESF student Ben Marshall, who probably should have been in bed at 3.30 early Saturday morning and said he was watching Netflix in the living room of his dorm suite, but he heard gunshots. Those gunshots actually going through his bedroom, not far from his window. The bullet entering from the outside of the building and then going toward his closet where the bullet was lodged into the wall. He immediately called campus security, who then called Syracuse police. Here's a little bit of what he had to say about those scary moments. To think you could have been in bed, it could have been a little lower, and hit you, does that freak you out? I feel like not as much as it should. I don't know, just the fact that it didn't, like, like, I, I'm not really thinking about what could have happened. It just, what happened, happened, and just, like, just, it's just a concern for every, like, just everybody in the city that, could just be minding their own business and just a freak accident could happen. A stray bullet from a highway could right. go in any building. Right. Exactly. Syracuse police describe that they don't think Centennial Hall was the intentional target of the gunfire. They believe the bullets came from stray gunshots from Interstate 81, which is very closely located just behind Centennial Hall. At SUNY ESF, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Andrew, thank you. And anyone with information about the shooting from I-81 early in the morning Saturday, call Syracuse Police Detectives. The number is 315-442-5222. Most of us.